Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about similarity ratio and before that uh, I'll tell you that there is a difference between scale factor and similarity ratio. Many students uh, get confused uh, when they hear these two terms like which one is which or they don't even know that there are differences between them. So just keep that in mind that there is a difference between similarity ratio versus scale factor I'll get into this uh, okay let's get started the question tells us that the two figures are similar I know that because of that symbol that means the figures are similar my question is what is the similarity ratio of CDEF to SVUT so what's the similarity ratio of the first figure to the second one. To answer this question, all we have to do is find two corresponding lengths, such as this right here and that one here, because the shorter sides of the similar rectangles are going to correspond to each other. So all we have to do is write a fraction that shows you what 3 to 1 is. So 3 to 1. That's my answer. But in here it says simplify your answer and write it as a proper fraction, improper fraction, or whole number. So I can write this as a whole number. So it is 3 over 1 equals to 3. That would be my answer because this question is about the similarity ratio. If it was asking for the scale factor, I would put 1 over 3rd. Here is why. Uh, with the scale factor, you find your two corresponding numbers. The numbers are 3 and 1, right? These two are my numbers. And then you need to decide what's going on from this one to that one. Is it getting bigger or smaller? The figure is getting smaller. So in that case, you start with the smaller number first and then divide it by the other number. That's why I start with 1 and then divide it by 3 when my question is the scale factor. But in here, in this assignment, we are going to deal with the similarity ratios. The reason I'm telling you this, because throughout the whole year, we usually have dealt with the scale factor. And then I kept telling you that, okay, figure out what's going on between the figures. Is it getting bigger or smaller? If it's getting smaller, start with the smaller number and divide it by the other one. I kept saying this, and then I don't want you to uh, get confused because of what I'm doing over here. It's because the concepts are different. Similarity ratio and scale factors, they do, uh, they are alike, but they're not the same. So let's move on to the next example. But this is this this example, this uh, my bad. assignment is pretty simple. You can figure out what's going on and then write your uh, similarity ratios, even though you can come up with a wrong answer in your first try on the first example. You will figure out what pattern you need to follow anyways. Okay. So here we still have two similar figures because of that symbol. And then our question is what's the ratio, similarity ratio, not scale factor, for, uh, of RSTU of the first figure to the second one. So of the first figure to the second one, one is the shorter side of the rectangle, five is the shorter side of the rectangle. So these two correspond to each other. One way to write this is one over five. The other way of writing this is, some of you may wonder why not 2 and 10, because they do correspond to each other as well. Yes, you can go ahead and do that one, but then you need to simplify this, because you can divide both of the numbers by 2, which is reduced to 1 -fifth. The end result is going to be the same anyways, so you would put 1 -fifth over here as your final answer. Okay, moving on to the next example. Okay, what is the similarity ratio of the first figure to the second one? And I do know they are similar because it says it over here. Now all I have to do is find two corresponding sides. But in here there's no difference because all of the side lengths are the same. Look, it's all 16, all 8. Uh, just pick two. Doesn't matter which 16 you pick, which 8 you pick, because you're going to divide those two numbers anyways, eventually. So 16 to 8, you can simplify this. It means 2 over 1, or 
final answer should be 2, not 2 over 1. I'm just showing it to you step by step, but you do not need to like, right, this one here, that one here. If you see that 16 over 8 is 2, just put that 2 over here. Uh, you don't need to overcomplicate things as I am doing it right now, because I need to show everything step by step for students who doesn't know what's going on in between the steps. Okay, let's see if there's no difference. Let's do this one too as our final answer, uh, final question. Uh, we have similar figures, the first one to the second one, find two corresponding numbers. Let's do this one to the right way, by the way. Let's pick this one as the first side, XW, uh, the second and third letters. Their corresponding letters would be H and G. HG is over here, its side is 20. Divide these two numbers, 12 over 20. You can simplify these two. They are divisible by 4. The first one would be Three, the second one would be 5, your answer would be 3 over 5. Okay, thanks for watching guys, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video or if you think the video helped you out completing the assignment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can get notifications whenever I share another video about your assignments. Thanks for watching again and I will see you in another video.